Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being here. So I want to take you through a few days in my life. This is on a Tuesday morning and I want to start by making breakfast. I'm making some crisps. Crisps are almost the same as a uh, pancake but a, a little bit different because the butter of the crisps has to be very thin and I am using butter, melted butter, not a margarine and some milk. I've added uh, like one cup of milk, a melted butter two eggs and vanilla essence that vanilla essence is mixed with strawberry essence so i've added a little bit i'm going to mix uh this uh, together then i'm going to use self-rising flour i could have used all-purpose flour but i decided to use uh self-rising flour it's all the same it, it can still work and then i'm going to mix together and then i'm going to add more milk so that the butter can be as thin as possible so let's just make this and i hope you get to enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up share it out uh, widely so i'm going to add some milk as well and continue mixing i'm using uh, some butter to make them so i'll put in a little bit of butter i'm using unsalted butter so i'll add in the mixture i want to make sure that this acrylic uh, is as thin as possible in as much as my pan was not so wide but they came out very thin i'm using the chopsticks so that i can uh, flip it because that is the only way that i can use because it's it's very thin and hence needs uh very uh, good care when it comes to flipping it so i'm using the chopsticks and then i'll be adding uh, the butter from the bottom so that it uh, it can cook before i can remove it Honestly, I love Chris more because they have very good flavors when it comes to uh, the butter and the milk and the eggs. They are so good. They are very thin and very soft. So I'm going to serve this with uh, some cocoa that is cocoa tea uh, without sugar. That is what I'm going to serve them and I'll enjoy this breakfast as we start this day. since it was early in the morning and my kitchen was so messy i want to tidy up this kitchen i'm still working on my kitchen space i'm doing some makeover on it as i said that place down there was so open and i wanted to get the doors and also get extra space for me to store my things uh, just to create a very tidy kitchen as possible as ever so i'm trying to still make it uh, when i'll be done i'll be showing you and how i went about it so let me tidy up here and i hope you get motivated 
motivated because I'll also be cleaning. I got this vegetable from the countryside so I want to uh, remove uh, the sticks then I'll be washing them, cook them and then store them in the fridge because I still have a lot of vegetables so I don't need to use them today. I also got some bananas so I'll be tidying up the kitchen because of uh, the mess that is there. Let me tell you the funny thing, I just decided to store my avocados here before I can decide on how to arrange everything. So I decided, let me just use this space to store all my avocados. So I'll be wiping that space, store all the fruits there because the other place, the down uh, under the sink has a lot of pots, so many things there. So I can't store my um, fruits over there. So I decided to use this space in the meantime, just to store all that. These avocados I got from the countryside and also the bananas. When I'm up through the night I can't turn down the noise, tear all the worries out of my mind About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right Remember the days I let slip away, they were simple at times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon I'll bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon 
This was around 7 p.m. I want to make some dinner and for dinner I'm going to make some liver mixed with some kidney and rice. So I'll start with the red and uh, white uh, part of the spring onions. I'm mixing them together and then I'll be frying them until they are a bit translucent. I'll also be adding in some garlic and then uh, we'll continue with the cooking process. I've mixed together some garlic powder, onion powder, curry powder, and uh, cumin powder, and also some turmeric. Those are the spices that I'm going to use in making this uh, stew over here. I love this mixture of spices. When it comes to cooking, I have so many ways of making my food. So today I decided to add the onions first into my oil before I can put the spices so i've added in the liver mixed with the kidney i want them to absorb the flavors of the spices nicely before i can add in anything and trust me these spices just are just magic and also remember the portion of your food and how you're going to add in your spices so i'll mix them together before i can add in something else uh, so i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt for flavors and then i'm going to cover a little bit i'm not going to add any water into that liver i'm going to cover it then it can cook with its juices The liver has been cooking for like 15 minutes and that is enough to actually cook your liver when it is also mixed with some kidney because if you overcook it, it becomes very tough. So I'm adding some coconut cream. I've used that small pack, a whole pack of it. I'm going to make this until they are well combined and then I'm going to use one teaspoonful of cornstarch mixed with uh, one cup full of water. Mix them together and then I'm going to add into my liver i just want to thicken it a little bit i want a thick sauce not too runny not too thick and also i've added some water then i'm going to cover this for five minutes just to so that uh, the liver can get all the flavors of everything that i've added there then i'm going to warm some spinach the spinach that i had but cooked before so that is what i'm going to warm and we'll be taking uh, that with all the meals i'm going to garnish this with some coriander and also some spring onion leaves those are uh, two just give good uh, flavors to this i'm not going to cover it again because i never want these uh, leaves to be uh, overcooked and then i'm going to serve you don't like flowers because me honestly i love flowers and i get flowers from time to time so when i have them i just have to make use of them i had kept them in this small jar because i was thinking of where to put them i haven't gotten a base uh, the right base for my flowers so there's a uh, a place i saw somebody using this jar this exact jar and she said, if you don't have a vase, you can uh, use this. And uh, I don't have a ribbon. I could have tied a ribbon on it. I The way she just did that. So I'll just remove this uh, sticker over here. And then I'll put some water inside. And then I saw people use dick and sugar. Me, I normally use the plant... Uh, uh, plant a uh, powder that it comes with I think it's plant food but I'm going to use today the jig and the sugar I'll fill in some water 
Then I'll use the jig. I have the jig. I have this one. I don't think it matters the brand of jig that you want to use. So I'll add in, I think, a little bit of the jig. Then start. It's like we are feeding the plants. <laughs> so let me just start it. I love this flower. I don't know how it's called. I don't know. There's a name in my head, but I don't want to say it because I'm not sure. I'm telling you, it smells so good. These flowers are three days old. Like even this one had, it, it's yet to bloom. It hasn't bloomed. So I'll make use of this jar. I love flowers. And when I have flowers in my my house, it just feels so good. Like it doesn't feel lonely because during the day I'm just alone. And I just need a good uh, a good environment to be in. So I'm not going to cut anything. I'm just going to put them like this. I love roses, either white, yellow. I love this flower. You can tell me in the comment section the name of the flower. When it blooms, when it blooms, it, it has started shedding. When it blooms, it looks like this. See how beautiful that is. That is so beautiful. I don't know how I'm going to combine these flowers. See how beautiful this is. So I'm going to I'm not going to put it in the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know whether to put it in the kitchen or or take it in the living room. I don't know. Let me let me see. I don't feel like putting it here, so I'll take it in the living room and put it on the table. I received this from Mason Jazz. I've mentioned Mason Jazz before. They sell jars, like the one that I used to put the flowers, they do sell that. They also have a discount uh, on this jars. So if you want them, you can I'll leave their number on the description box so that if you are interested in this kind of jars, these jars can come in handy when you want to store milk in your fridge, you want to store some juices, you want to store some yogurt like for me i want to store some yogurt i want to make yogurt i also want to make a lot of juices so i ordered some more jars from them this one goes uh, for 55 shillings so if you want to get these at an affordable price get them from mason jars they are also on facebook as mason jars and if you go to them tell them jerusha sent you yeah so they have a discount on this jars and they have uh, I think a giveaway I saw I don't know if it's over so I got these uh, jars I have some but they are not enough so I got like eight yeah I got eight of them so I'll be washing them then I'll be making some yogurt and also I'll be going to the market to get fruits so that I can make some juices to store. It does save a lot of space. That is why I prefer getting uh, this kind of jars because I know that when I store my milk, I will store a lot of milk in the fridge and I don't have to go out to get uh, milk every now and then. So when I store with this, they really come in. This just come in handy when I want to store the milk and also some yogurt. I know still they are not enough. I think I'll still have to get some more. But for now, let me deal with the ones at hand. I'll wash them. Some 
band so I think I'll, I'll make it very and you know I got these onions from home so I stored them like this it's been five days you see I never washed anything and they're still fresh yeah I mixed with coriander they sent me even coriander so I'm going to use those onions and some tomatoes you see how fresh my tomatoes are, uh, are? Like I never washed these tomatoes when I stored them and they are very, uh, very, very fresh. So I'll take two tomatoes. I forgot to wrap these. I don't know why I forgot to wrap that. So I'll make the berry. Like I'm obsessed with coconut cream. I can't cook my nuts. Cook the berry. I love the berry. Like the berry comes in handy because. That was the purpose of me but cooking. I'm using minced uh, garlic, I'm using some uh, green pepper and onions, spring onion stalks, the white part, then coriander, spring onion leaves, I have tomatoes, I have tomato paste and I have this coconut cream. I forgot to mention the spices, I have turmeric, uh, I have turmeric, I have curry powder, onion powder, and some garlic powder. So those are the ones that I'm going to use to make this kiberi. Let me know in the comment section if you have specific uh, ingredients for most of your meals, like when it comes to meat, liver, uh, beans, legumes, yeah, legumes. If you have specific spices, like me, I have specific spices for each and every meal that I want to make. Sometimes I infuse my spices in oil when it comes to meat, but when it comes to legumes, I add the spices from uh, on the on the on the. Uh, if I told it's gideri, I will add on the on top of the gideri. I'll not infuse or I infuse on the oil. So let me brown this. I will add some garlic as well. Like garlic is just everything. Garlic uh, just enhances the flavors of the the food. Add the tomatoes. Mix well. Add salt and cover. As I wait for my Tomatoes to soften, I think I'm going to make avocado. Avocado goes well with the berry. It's, it's so, so good. Like, all my avocados are ripe. I think I'll make some smoothie from them. On my kitchen space, when I'm done, I think I'll show you the final result and how I went about it. I'm doing it myself, so that is why I'm slow with everything. When I'm done, I'll show you the results that avocado wow so good I love avocado avocado with the very the best combination and I love it when I receive avocados from the countryside like it saves me a lot I had a lot I shared some with my neighbor who apparently is my fan Good neighbor, thank you for being my fan. I did not know until she approached me. But I mash it. Don't want to. Oops. These are from uh, two different trees. Oh, it's almost done. A little bit of tomato paste. I don't use tomato paste in my dishes a lot, but there are dishes that I would prefer using the tomato paste. So let me mix until they are well combined. Add in the gizberi. I'm telling you the flavors that are going to be here are just amazing, amazing, amazing. It's currently 12 and I think this will take me up to dinner. I will start with garlic powder for my spices. I get my spices from Chespal. 
uh, she's around Siokimau. Yeah, their spices are so good and legit. They have all the aromas that you would want in your spices. So I'll, that is onion powder. And then this is turmeric. And then a little bit of curry powder. A little bit of cumin. Cumin goes a long way when it comes to good flavors in your food. So I'll mix this well. I'll make sure these spices cook well before I can uh, serve my food. Of course, I need good flavors and broth. This broth or soup on my gideri. So, this gideri was cooked with salt, and I've added salt on the tomatoes. So, I don't need to add more salt. I'll just cover it. I think now the spices are well cooked. Like you can't get the raw smell of spices in your food. Then I'm going to add the coconut cream now. I'll be generous, so I'll add a lot of it. I love coconut, uh, coconut. Anything coconut in my meat is just okay. So I'll mix well. That thing makes a lot of noise whenever the electricity runs low. I don't know why. Like the units just go low so fast these days. I don't know. Anyway, let's focus on food. I will garnish this with some uh, green peppers coriander and the onion green onion leaves like i'm telling you the onion leaves are always everything to food when it comes to any stews i love the green onion leaves like they're so good i never overcook after this so i'll just turn off the gas and that is it for our gideri I have a few laundry to run and also I had run some laundry last night. I will unhang those clothes, get to fold them. But uh, first of all, let me run these ones, the ones that I have. They are not a lot, just a few. Honestly, laundry never ends in my house. Like I do laundry like every day. If I get to skip it once in a while and that is maybe on Friday and Saturday, that is the days. Those are the days that I don't get to do laundry much.
So I'll bring the milk to a boil and then I'll turn off the heat, let it cool a little bit before I can uh, make it, make the yogurt. My gideri is still here, the gideri that actually uh, did remain. I'm going to put it in the fridge. So I got the fruits. I want to make juice, so I got the passion fruit. These were going for a hundred shillings. No, and then I got some uh, pixie sweet orange, uh, some green apples. Yeah, my, my children love this. I also got some mangoes. Yeah, mangoes are off season, but we still have mangoes. 
So I got uh, more mangoes. Yeah, so that is what I got. I will make the juices. I don't know why she didn't send the bread at home. She only sent bread. So let me do that. All that we have is each other now. I've been using one rod for both curtain and shears so i decided to get two rods one for the curtains and also one for the shears so that i can uh, actually put the curtains the way i wanted so you'll see the end results when i'm done I love the outcome and I love how beautiful it looks. Like somebody gave me a hack on how to actually put those gathers to look beautiful, but I don't have uh, yet those things. They are not enough. So when I get hold of them, I'll be able to do that. I wanted one piece to be on the middle, the other one piece of the curtain to be on the other end and the other one on the other end. And I love how they, uh, they just came out. They just look so good. Could you hold my hand? I want to fix some yogurt for the kids to be carried to school. I have some warm milk over here. And normally we use warm milk when we want to make a yogurt. I had already boiled it and it cooled down. I'm adding some sugar. You can add sugar as per your preference. If you want it too sweet, you can add that. So I added just a little bit. I'm going to mix well until it is uh, well uh, mixed. And then I'm going to add some yogurt. I'm adding strawberry yogurt just to jumpstart it. I don't have a separate essence. I don't know how I forgot to buy, but I have one that is mixed to uh, strawberry and vanilla mixed together. The kids did mix that. I don't know when they did that, but it's mixed. But that is what I'm going to use. But first of all, I'm going to add a little bit of the yogurt. I think I'm going to use half. Yeah, this is four liters of milk. I'm using half of the yogurt into that uh, milk and then I'm going to mix until it is well combined. Then I'll be adding some strawberry essence. You can skip adding the essence and add later, maybe tomorrow after the, 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 the yogurt is ready. So I'm going to mix, cover it with a clean film and put it in the gas, yeah, inside the gas cooker. And then I'll wait until tomorrow. Everything's all right. This is the next day and the yogurt came out so perfect. I ended up packing some and did put in the fridge and some I packed for the kids and they took to school.
my carpet was dirty and I wanted it cleaned. So Broncas came through, Broncas cleaners. They have done my couch before and my carpet and their cleaning services are just amazing. So if you want somebody to clean your house, deep cleaning, uh, fumigation, cleaning your couch and even your carpet, they have good rates. You can reach them out they are on instagram as broncas cleaners so if you need the services just uh, get broncas cleaners so on this day they only cleaned the carpet that is what i wanted them to clean and they really did an amazing job Yeah.